my friends and welcome back to our Haradrim campaign in Third Age Total War, The Fight and Conquer. It is a beautiful Saturday morning, the birds are yelling obscure songs, the sun is shining, the clouds are just drifting away and it is a beautiful time to slaughter some Gondorians. So, let's just jump straight into it, right? Last episode, we captured Anulons, we captured Kirith Rar XD. And now we have sent armies Zulfikar towards Gund and Durwath and this guy Captain Fakihma towards Thara Grondos and hopefully also Balorn. Both settlements are relatively undefended so it shouldn't be too difficult. We might face some more trouble here as if I remember correctly Gund had a bit of a garrison. Yeah, pretty respectable garrison. Uh, let's see, game is opening, it's taken a while. Pretty good units actually. Nothing to scoff at for a random ass. It's also their capital at the moment. But for a random ass settlement up north from Gondor, it's actually pretty beefy. We do have more reinforcements if need be, but I think most of our troops should now focus on this area here. I have read your suggestions, Nikos, in terms of letting the enemy take Minas Tirith first and then trying to retake it like that. But I don't know. I'm not particularly don't need Minas Tirith. If I can just get rid of Gondor, that's all that really matters. I don't really need to hold both as Gilead or Karandros either, um, except just to hit the 40 regions, which I will hold regardless of what happens. So it's just a matter of ticking off the victory conditions, and then we can call this campaign over, done and dusted with one. So I think we're ready to end the turn. We'll muster another army there. Part of the initial plan I had with this campaign was to perhaps betray Sauron and fight against Mordor. Um, but I feel I've done that in quite a few campaigns, you know, um, going against the grain, turning an evil faction good. Some evil factions don't need to turn good. Some evil factions just need to stay evil. And to be fair, that was also in my mind when I just had to fight Dol Amroth and Gondor. Before, I also had to go to war with the Aradhanaim, which, okay, fine, you know, I guess that happens. Didn't expect it to happen so early on, but okay. From my people. Oh, hello. Rima, you speak differently than I remember, but okay. Good. It's more of a Chucky Goodbye. voice, I guess. Um, but uh, then also Khand, of course, and just having both of them pile on top of me just really dragged out this campaign quite a lot more. Which is not to say that that's a bad thing. I quite enjoyed um, those battles we had. Oh my god, there's a huge army coming from Doha. Oh, Lord. So far from one, it seems. Um, but it does make this campaign, you know, last... As long as I typically want a campaign to last. Is there something I can uh, which is about like 30 episodes, which we are well beyond that. Hey, Step of Tribesman, yeah, look at that. Wow, thanks, game. <laughs> you know what? I'll send them straight to the front line as my game is half bugging out. I know, it's still early. My game is like, dude, come on, it's a Saturday. Born even it. Okay, it's quite pathetic, Ami. I've got two ballistae, but I think I'm going to wait an extra turn um, just to get some extra equipment. I do want to be a bit more careful because I want to reuse this army to go straight for Balon afterwards. So. That is that. Mo troops are on the way. I don't know where they keep coming from, to be fair. Mm. His reinforcements are going to arrive on time, which is unfortunate. Also, there's no road here, which is odd. Oh, there's a road here, I see. It does slow you down quite a lot when you're not... Uh, using the road, but whatever. Alright, let's merge these guys and let's move some of them towards the front. Just as a reserve near Kirith Raur. Um, should be. Yeah, let's make sure they're out of range. Could do the same along Garam, but I'll keep the troops there. I thought I had an extra general. Yes. Uh, you yes, go to Longar. Keep the beast. Nice. Uh, these guys are also not doing much, so. How may I serve? To the front you go. The extra pikes. You right. Okay, so Mordor is already laying siege to Karasas, which is just going to turn the other than I'm into another <laughs> horde faction yet again. Alright, I think we can just go straight for Asgiliath then, unless we get blocked by Minas Tirith. Might happen. No, okay. Right, we have uh, military access, so it doesn't matter. We did get blocked by Karasas, though, because I'm an idiot. Most people learn from their mistakes, but I'm not most people. Oh. Holy shit, they got a massive garrison of defenders. Huh. I think I'll wait a little bit. 
Uh, I only need one. Re oh, actually, no. They repaired Westerners because it's been restored. So it's actually a beefy. It's not the, you know, the wreck we used to fight. Okay, so we actually need to give it some respect. I know, I know. We don't want to give Gondorians respect, but... We're not giving them respect, we're giving them stonemasons respect. Okay, final one can get catapults. Can I get a Muma kill? Yes, we can. I'm not sure what I'll send them yet, but... Let's see. Tal Utbar got the Warlord's Hall, so I should be able to upgrade the barracks. No, we need to create all first. Got a Merland. Bams, bams, bams. Okay, crop rotation. Oibamari, the Dark Temple. I'm churning out so many units here, it's actually kind of naughty, and I'm not even using them. I guess I'll send those extra guys over. Look at up the shrines, man. Melkor must love me. I've pretty much become his most faithful servant. Uh, actually, go all the way. Might need to train troops there. Rather not, but might. Wait, I thought I already built. Didn't it say I built? Oh, public fountains. And this is a dark sanctuary, which looks like a fountain, but it's not. I'm not sure where that picture came from. Someone in the comment section will probably know. How may I serve? Oh, these are all horses. Okay, so they can reach the front line rather quickly. We march. All right, so I might need to send in some reinforcements. So I'll just wait for the elite troops to arrive. Yeah, I got a couple of pretty good units here. And I'll send them to this, maybe this side. We'll see. All right, is my siege equipment finished? No, right, I did that this turn. Mixing up the turns. If he wants to go for Anulon, it's fine. Well, let's retrain. See, I don't know where these troops are coming from. They've just been chilling in the mountains, just waiting. This is really weird, but, well, okay. It is Gondor, and it is very much the last hazard. I know I've said that many times, but... I just can't understand where these guys keep coming from. Were they just on vacation whilst Gondor was burning, and now they're like, Oh, well, maybe uh, the rest of our kin don't really got this. Maybe we do need to step in. It boggles the mind. But there are many things in life that boggle my mind. Ah, okay. Oh no 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 no! Mordor wants to get me involved. No mate. I'm actually like okay with the other uh, name. Yeah? It would be a fun fight, but they're gonna turn horde, and I much rather appreciate that horde not running to my doorstep. Okay, seeing as the other name are going horde now, the game is gonna have to take some time to register what just happened. So I'm gonna have to make a quick jump cut, and hopefully the game doesn't crash. Okay, the game pulled through. It took a while. Yeah, whenever a, a horde nation dies, well, not die, but when they lose their last settlement, the game just needs to, like, calculate the horde size, I think, and that just, you know, causes it to break down a little bit. Because the other number, not out. <laughs> Far from it. Because uh, they had more generals, right? Yeah, now they're chilling on my doorstep again. Look at all of them! There's so many! <laughs> Bloody hell. They could really ruin my day. I am a warrior, not an emissary, my lord. Do I have a diplomat anywhere nearby? Don't think I do, to be fair. Diplomat, do I? No. Scorched plains, hell no. Right, let's get a diplomat real quick. Um, can I get one here? No, then I need to get one at Dor Labyrinth. E <coughs> Just so we can try to establish our friendship, yeah? I appreciate you guys, but... Your motherfuckers need to chill. Bloop. Okay. Okay, let us start by taking Tharagron Lost. Now oh, they got some reinforcements. How quaint. Captain Kuroyon, Captain Durion. Now, the settlement is going to be quite tough because it's a Gondorian type fort. Those guys are going to come in from the left. We don't want to fight them. Well, we do want to fight them, but we want to fight them before. We don't want to fight them in the settlement. So take that. See, but they got reinforcements already coming in. I wanted to push straight for Balon, but I'm gonna have to defend Taragrondost first. Okay, well, right. Let's just start with this Balon. I'll take it one step at a time. Let's go. We shall end this day in oh, it's even worse than I thought. I thought it was gonna be like the first tier of Gondorian stronghold, but it's the second tier. I mean, you all know this settlement by this point. Um, so they should be coming in from this side, right? That's my left. God. I'll be happy if I could take down like one tower with the equipment I got. 
Gosh darn it. I do have a lot of ladders, I guess, but this is a pretty shoddy force. I was always gonna come down to my ballista crew, which, no. That's not gonna work. Bloop. Yeah, we'll just have to see. The enemy show their cowardice. Okay. They bring in These guys are coming in from over there. Um, let's see, if I can get three pikemen. And then my calf. I should have more than enough thick now. We're gonna try to destroy as many towers as we can, which is probably not gonna be much. And then just rush down the walls. That's all I really can do, you know? Sorry to move them wide. It's gonna be a painful fight. Especially because I don't think my ballista will be able to take that like any tower. Maybe one. They're just that tanky. Well, it's looking a bit rubbish, but. Oh, there we go. I might be able to take down two then. Fine, okay, that helps. They're still gonna have a lot of towers, but. Perhaps I should just rush for this side then, so they don't have all these towers. Although I'm not sure if they're active. That's a quick way to find out. I hope we still have enough ammo. It's gonna be close. Okay, they're definitely fighting, but... Those guys are fighting, yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. They're right next to it. These guys aren't fighting. Oh lordy, this is gonna be a hell of a fight. Oh crap, they're already here. Crap a doodle doo 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 doo. Camels? I wasn't paying attention, now I'm gonna die. Cause I'm a freaking moron. Hell yeah. That's really bad. The camels are very much here to keep them occupied. See, I just wanted to, like, run some troops through this side. Maybe push a uh, ram all the way over there. Just use my numbers to my advantage. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna die against the total guard, and those guys are skilly as pants. But you're here to keep them busy. Where's the extra camel? Okay, that ram is doing its thing. We were unable to destroy the second tower, not even close. Must have been very inaccurate. Uh, where are the other camels? Oh, there they are. Don't let them run. What the hell do you think you're doing? So they got a lot more troops inside the summit than I thought. This is gonna be a not a fun battle. <laughs> Our check. men have done well. Okay. The gates have fallen. So I think I'm gonna run them. Oh, they got Gondor defenders. They realize they have defenders. You chill there. You go round. You charge them. You. Make sure we catch the catapult. Skill that wall. Oh, they got so many troops. Sorry, but this is actually going to be painful. I completely underestimated the enemy again. Okay. So they're already coming over. Though. This is going to be rough. They run like children. Okay. Them from the field. Let them run like children, yes, yes, that's fine. If I take this road and then go in here, if I can fight here, that's fine, I'm out of tower range. Under cav, not a problem. You guys chill over there. If those Gondor defenders move out to meet us, I will send in camel support. Don't let them run back. I know, it's just a crew, but even a crew can activate towers, we don't want that. 
Where's that ram? Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a tricky fight. Let them come outside. I don't know how you're getting shot. Oh, this tower. I guess that makes sense. Oh, God damn it. Okay, now Let us anything. have reached the walls. May our brave lions strike these curs who hide behind them. Okay, let's move you guys up to that side, preferably. Alright, you guys are here. Climb down. Uh, Python, go up. Thalagrondus is a hell of a settlement. But that will also make it quite a bit easier to defend it. But fighting here, that's what I want. It's a good, clean way. Come on. Brave lions strike these oh, curves, they so don't. If they do move around, I can double flank, so it's fine. Don't run, don't run, don't run. Okay, fight them there. And that should be a relatively safe position to be fighting. Spears of the Arai. There's also their general, so that's actually quite good. Makes it more likely for them to rout. We are winning the battle. That's their general right here, he's already in trouble. He's gonna die. Yep, he's already dead. Look at that. Ah, good. That does make things a little bit easier. How are you tied? You've barely done anything, mate. Come on. Okay, they've moved around. Good, let's punish them for it. Don't route yourself on a warband. Help is on the way. And this is a good way to fight them without risking just getting pummeled by towers endlessly. Those guys are getting destroyed, but help is on the way. So just hold. Hold on to whatever you need to hold on to. Just anything. Okay. Gets the poking. Should be able to beat them. Just strength in numbers. These guys are fine, so I'm just gonna let them chill over there. Just making sure on whoever's losing numbers, who's fighting. You guys are getting shot, that's not good. These guys should suffer just from the sheer amount of troops that are currently poking them. They're tanky, but they also don't kill that easily. So. 30 for 36! Oh, that's... Oh yeah, but that's also the reinforcements, of course. They went down rather easily. But the garrison will... A bit more of a problem, but the fact that we killed both generals is quite good. Just strengthen numbers, they can only kill so many guys at the same time. This is working. Made of clay. Who is on we the town square? The Gondor infantry. Crap, Spears. don't have much of an answer to that. Spears. Let's take bring in these guys. All right, so we've broken through. Nice. I think I've defenders over there. But, I have a plan. Wouldn't be Izzy McDizzy if I didn't have a plan. Always have plans. They don't always work out, but always have plans. Okay, good. These guys might answer. No, okay. Once I go on the town square, though, they will pull back some troops. But yeah, they got Gondor infantry up there, so. Okay. They've lost help now, so they'll... Ooh, they're pushing in very aggressively. Punish them for it. They're surrounded. Their general is dead. Would it be too much to ask for a route? Shaken? They're suffering hard now. Their numbers are dropping, but so are mine. But these are some of the best they have. Second best unit they got in here. And the Gondor infantry, I'll just have to send in... Oh, crap. They brought in the Gondor defenders. Don't worry. I have an answer to that. Again, wouldn't be an easy video if it didn't have an answer to everything. You guys turn around. They got both defenders in there. Now everyone's coming down. That's good. I can fight on these walls. Those archers are running through and they must die. Yeah, yeah, they're losing a lot of guys because of that. Oh, they even routed. Look, they completely wasted that unit. Are Gondor defenders good? 714, how does that compare to Gondor Infantry? I think these guys. Oops, where is the Gondor Infantry? Worry. Where the bloody hell is the Gondor Infantry? Oh. Are they over here? No. Uh, I've lost an elite unit. Oh, there they are. 921, okay, that's quite a difference. 
please do more of that running through. That was an easy way to get rid of them. Oh no, these guys are actually fighting. Curses. Okay, well, let them fight. As long as they don't activate that tower. It's a clean way to get rid of some pikemen. These guys are suffering. So it's a pretty nice sandwich all round. Four fights with horns made of clay. If I we pop are you guys the here, can you fling your javelin like from there to there? I think I'm playing this battle quite okay considering how shitty this lineup actually is. I need to do a lot with little. I'm just seeing if there's. Oh, that morale is quite bad. If I just push just a little bit more. I might get the full route. Those are two units though. Okay, they've activated some towers, which is unfortunate. Really unfortunate. How is that tower active? There's no one... Oh lord. I need you to throw your javelin into the golden infantry. Best way to get rid of them. Come on, throw. Sorry, I don't understand why this tower is active. Is it because of these guys? Because that seems hella early on. Fine, pull away then. Alright, pull back. I have an idea. I'm gonna either charge that. Okay, they're gone. Then we're going to block the road. Our men have taken control of this one. We have lost control of the castle. Not yet. These guys are pushing aggressively. All right, no, fine. Then they'll make some dark decisions. Okay, they're gone. And that will make them way more aggressive because they need to make a move. The onus is on them. So yes, they're running in their Gondor infantry, which is fine. We just need to hold. I'd happily sit out the timer. I've got my Truman Hunters in here. So if I position them right, they should be able to chuck javelins at those Gondor infantry, which is what I always wanted to do. Hold. There we go, we're chucking. Chucky cheese time! Yes, we are the enemy. From a certain point of view. I think I can hold them off for 9 minutes. And... I can actually flank them. Ah, uh, delightfully devilish is he? I think I played this siege battle quite well considering how much crap I had. The timer is a bit scary, but... I think that is more than that timer, so... Either way, we'll win. I was always going to come down to the Gondor infantry, of course. All right, uh, my last reserves. Commit, camels. If I'm ever gonna use you, it would be now. All right, it's quite reassuring though. If I ever have to defend this settlement, it's gonna be rather easy. Yeah, I don't think they're breaking through in seven minutes. Though I will move my trouble hunters a bit more to this side, just in case they don't move around that side there. Victory is well within our grasp. Gondor infantry is tough. And lose heart. This guy's probably got some upgrades as well. We always knew they were going to be the hardest unit to crack. That time it is making me a little bit concerned, but surely that is more time than five minutes. This battle went by so fast. Didn't feel like we were almost down to our timer. I don't. I rarely pay attention to the timer. It's Perhaps we can actually force a route. If I push these guys in shield wall, we can push them quite hard. Maybe force a route. Trollman, don't you scare them? Is that only the Trollman? It's only the Trollman warriors. Gone the infantry actually got harder. <laughs> okay. Fine, strength in numbers then. Two minutes. Oh, it's so close. I'm so scared.
Okay, the Gondor Infantry is rising. Nice. They'll follow. Oh. Oh, that actually... My heart. Oof. Ah, it's okay. Considering how crappy this army was. I didn't realize that Agrondas was going to be an upgraded settlement. I thought we'd have an easy time just plinking down that. That was my two ballista, but... Yikes, no. We had to bear the full brunt of it. But all in all, we did all right, considering. Uh, you know. We have a positive kill-death ratio. I'll happily deal with that. Alright, goodbye. Yeah, try to fight me, my thought. Try it, you bitch. You don't have the spine for it. Mm, suck it, I don't want to do a public order bullshit. Not in the mood for that after this fight. Might have to send in some extra troops before we push towards Balorn. We'll see. See, then there's the settlement of Goon, which is just a city, so it's not like a crazy defensive position. I do have a decent amount of siege equipment here, and I want to avoid fighting Fingling here, which is an awful name, Fingling, poor guy. So if I can just, like, skirt past them and then attack Goon, that would be quite good. Or maybe this guy. How good of a spy are you? Decent. Can you sneak in and open the gate? 90% chance of sneaking in without dying. Hey. 40% chance they'll manage to open the gate if you attack. See, that's a feature I don't use a lot, getting spies to open gates, but it's actually quite good. So there's a 40% chance that we don't even have to use siege equipment to open the gates, so that leaves more ammunition to fire at towers, which is, you know, ideal. Could sneak in, like, an extra spy to boost the chances even further, but... Oh, that's gonna take too long. I want to avoid fighting Fingling on the open field. Though I might... Actually, he's got a pretty battered army, as far as I can tell. Screw it. Um, I'll just trust the auto-movement. I'll save, because um, I shouldn't trust the auto-movement. But if the game says you can reach it... There we go. I think if I press assault now... I think I would have already gotten the message that the gates are open, so the gates will not be open. A bit of a mixed bag, you know? Some decent units, some crappy units... I do have very good units in this armor. This armor is nothing compared to the previous one. This is so much better. We have Troman Champions, Serpent Bladesman, Hashari, Troman Warriors. Much easier to kill troops and to scare troops. And also we have better siege equipment. And the settlement will be less of a defensive nightmare than the previous one. So more troops to fight, but all in all, conditions are much better. I would like to win this battle with as few casualties as possible. Because I will still have to fight Fingling, and I do want to take Durwath. But we should be okay. And this will be the most northern position we've ever held. Which is quite cool. Alright, let's go. Alright. Yeah, that's the same kind of summon we fought many times over. So I'm just thinking here. Catapult to take down the towers. Ballista to take down the gate. I don't think I'm going to split my army. I think I'm going to stay to one side. If I take down the towers, that's the great equalizer. And my infantry, in all their pro elite levels of warfare, should be able to just beat Gondor. We should just straight up be better. So I don't need to do anything fancy, I don't think. Oh lord, I need to pull back. What the hell is that range? That's nasty. God damn it. It doesn't matter because the ammo pool is the same, but like, what the fuck? I even have the high ground meat. Also, catapult is so stupid when it comes to running around. Alright, you know what? I should have just turned around and fought straight away. Would have saved me the effort. Oh, they're already pulling back as well. Okay, see how much quicker these towers go down? The difference is staggering. Take down those four, maybe that one. And then go for the gate. Okay. Or just make a hole in the wall. Honestly, I still have so much ammo left. Alright, catapult, why are you so dumb when it comes to movement? Are oh, they just going for the town square? Peculiar. Are they that scared of my morale damage? I got some units like back there, so maybe. Let's 
70 percent 80 90 one more we have broken down the walls nice oh, we must strike faster than the wind if I can make another hole that would be much appreciated actually make sure we get through the gates first because that's my two entrances right there but the ballista won't cut it so close oh you've got to be kidding me <laughs> oh game all right send in the lads the boys We'll open the gate the hard way. Alright boys, shoot the bastards down. I'll keep the cab around, not that they're gonna do anything. They're trying to hold that. That was a life choice. Some ladders would have helped, but... Gondor infantry, I need armor piercing for that. These guys are armor piercing, aren't they? Yeah, armor piercing. These guys aren't? No, they're not. So it seems like a no brainer to send the Truman champions first. But I don't know. Where are you going, guys? Yeah, my archers don't really seem to be doing any damage whatsoever. So let's maybe fire on the back lines. Uh, guys, you can go home. I'll see you in the afterlife. Um, okay. Alright, Trollmen Champions, let's fucking go. Oh, we got some proper units there. You know what? I'll send in the Pikemen to assist the Trollmen Champions. Keep the enemy at bay while the Trollmen Champions do the killing. Oh, they're running out. That makes this a lot easier because I can actually go for a flank. Four fights with horns made of clay. Come on, champions, don't push too hard, please. I do want these guys to not fire at will. I want to give them orders specifically, because otherwise they're going to do a lot of friendly fire. Trust me, I know them. All too well. Oh yes, open the gate for me, please. You absolute idiot sandwich. Don't those payments would be much easier for my Trollman champions to crack. No, they're taking some damage, but that's okay. They're the first to die anyway, so they'll heal. Yeah, these guys are tough. Gotta give them respect where it's due. They are good warriors. But now it ends because I can move my Hashari around. And they can do sneaky assassin stuff. The enemy have lost the walls. Send your troops to and some the territorial the guardman pricks ain't gonna stop me. I can tell you that much. Every kill we get here is a kill unless we have to squeeze in melee. Which it's not gonna be a lot of kills, but it's something. And just like that, their finest troops have pretty much fallen. But yeah, they are tough. Even against, like, my top, 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 top tier units. They are hard. So more on the spearmen. That should be the last of the proper units, right? Ah, oh, they got some infantry left here. Yeah, gone to the infantry, man. Never, never, never underestimate them. I'm surprised these guys aren't rousing, to be fair. Okay. You know what, stop fighting for now. Get your ass in here, come on. I want these pikemen to come closer to the front line. I want you guys to go through this door onto the wall. Come on guys, don't be shy. There we go. You can help out your brethren. Glorious. Wish I had some javelins. What's your problem, guys? Get up here. All of you. And then fire on the Gondor Spearman. You're in a perfect position. But you refuse to fire. Oh, I hate this game sometimes. Come on. Fighting on walls is just broken. How are we struggling so hard with some Gondor bloody Spearman? 
Like, I know they're very tanky, but they shouldn't be able to kill us. Come on! We're in the perfect spot. There we go. That kills them much quicker. Glorious. Now fire on the Archimus because the chance of friendly fire is getting a bit too high. I want pikes to really be the front line, keep the enemy at bay. So they can do the dying but not the killing. Okay. These guys are going to be a bit annoying but we can circle around them. And I can also probably send in some cav at this point. Time to pull in the fresh troops. What the hell do you think you're going, mate? No, 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 no. Don't go fighting my south, around, even though they would beat me. Are you gonna try to hide under that tower? That's also dead. Yeah, fool. How are we losing to Ashari again? Explain me that. Okay, so we're trying to fight on the wall and on the ground. That's a bit silly. You got yourself surrounded, you idiot. Alright. Send in the guys that are as fresh as possible. And the bikes. I don't care about their freshness. Cab as well. These guys are dead. I'll send you here to flank round. Oh, I actually need to walk. A long way around to yeah let's not do that let's have the cab do that Il cavalry can still serve us even in a siege shut up dog that's in game by the way shut up dog try to fight here what have you got gondor militia gondor infantry captain's bodyguard who what the hell are you doing over here? I told you to go here. It's a very odd pathfinding. Can you not suicide charge, please? That goes for you as well, camels. And you... God damn, what the hell's wrong with you all? I never told you to go that way. Not even close. And stop for a moment. I want the Troman champions to be around for the morale debuff, as well as the Troman warriors, even though it doesn't matter because we're fighting on the town square. Also, my one ballista guy can't withdraw because he's an idiot. I also have Troman warriors that are stuck on a bloody ballista. I am surrounded by morons and idiots. It is actually a miracle that I was able to drag this faction to victory. <sighs> idiots. Idiots, idiots, idiots. Everyone's trying to get themselves killed, and if they aren't getting themselves killed, then they're getting stuck on a ballista. Crying out loud. And that's what we hold. Because we want to set up a good position. There's like one guy that wants to move in position. Alright, fine, we'll do it the hard way then. Like that. Okay. Um, these guys don't realize that there's camels right behind them. <laughs> Everyone's getting in position. Oh, they got territorial guards and I didn't realize. Let's see if we can commit to the Gondor infantry first. Stop. They pull back. Charge them head on. Now, the Truman warriors to commit. Pikemen, hold your ground. Alright, this is not working. That's a bit of a waste. Yeah, it's just gonna come down to a grind. <laughs> Fine. Damn, my pikemen are getting absolutely clobbered by the Gondor infantry. I thought my Troman warriors would be better against. I just constantly underestimate Gondor Infantry, but they're actually a really good unit. But if I can flank around with my champions, and then get in there, we should be able to do a lot of damage. Yes. 
There they are, hella, hella tanky. Oh shit, the timer! Ah, oh, you bloody kidding me, I wasn't paying attention to the timer again. God damn it. Well, that's a loss, I can't possibly hope to kill them in 2 minutes 40. I wasn't thinking I was being that slow. Oh, That really sucks, because they're gonna, like, the AI always cheats and they're gonna heal all their troops back. And meanwhile, I've committed quite a bit to this fight. God damn it. I bet some of you guys were already... Already realized that the time is not gonna work out for us. God damn it. Wow. I'm an idiot. But to be fair, Gondor is just so defensive and so tanky. It's bloody hard to kill them all in time. Well, let's just kill as many as we can. I think if we get rid of full units, they don't replenish. I don't bloody know. They probably will know in this game. This game loves to cheat with the AI. That's for damn sure. Pretty good charge, but we only got a minute 50 left. Well, this is just backfiring massively. You know, my Serpent Bladesmen are struggling. Like, 12 21, 9 20. We should beat them. Uh, sorry, wrong unit. 8 9 4, 13. Yeah, they got a lot of armor. We rely on skill, not armor. But that should benefit us in melee. Not so much in range, but in melee... don't think it's a difference between armor and defense skill. If anything, I might give the edge to defense skill. They're just better warriors. These are shittier warriors, but they're just... built like a tank. It's a little risky, I'm just trying to get casualties. God damn, yeah, I know. But it just requires a miracle to be able to kill them. Like, this is so tanky. Getting through Gondor Spearmen in a siege battle like that takes forever. I mean, well, I lot. Like, they're gonna heal half of them and it's gonna be like an equal fight. Look at that. 73. 40! If they won, sure, but this should be a draw at best. I'm so miffed right now. This is so frustrating. I should have turned down the battle timer, but I didn't expect this battle to take that long. It's not like they had anything crazy, just tanks, <laughs> like literally. Jesus, that is like the absolute worst thing that could have happened. Because that other army is going to give me grief. Ah, well, nothing I can do about it. Yeah. That really sucks. Oh, they got their Gondor Spearmen and Gondor Infantry back. And then this guy is going to attack me. It's going to be an absolute... Ugh. Orders. I'm miffed. How may I serve? Right. We move. Time to gather another army. Irpa. Yes, Public order is going to be a bit of a problem, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I want seed equipment. I want the Ashari. I want them to merge. How may I serve? Uh, How let's may I serve? I want to How keep may it a bit organized. Forming up together. It doesn't need to be a full army, because I can get some troops from here. I think that'll have to suffice. Is that enough? 65%. Get some troops from Serrant. Can get Cav. Just to get that 70%. No, not enough. Uh, right, yeah, let's move troops. Just have to deal with the public order. At once. I'd, I'd love to get rid of you, but... My eyes are yours. Mm -hmm. are yours. 32%. How oh, about you? 32. Because it's a stronghold. <gasps> it's Faramir! He's just been living out his retirement in Balor. Are you kidding me? And he never became a steward. He just really gave up. He's like, fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> it's friggin' Faramir. Wow, okay, so he's got Ethelian range. It's actually not that hard yes, to kill them. <laughs> I'm honestly so surprised. Right. I'm just gonna, like, siege out this Gilead. There's no way I can be that many defenders, especially with the timer. But I could, I think I could turn the timer off here, right? Uh, yeah, that's this one, right? 
So I can still turn it off if I need to. That's at least somewhat of a relief. Oh uh, yeah, Gondor, man. I'm so happy I'm fighting them now that they'd never reach their full peak potential. Because if they just churn out those Gondor infantry and spearmen, like, like it just becomes the standard for them, like, jeez, try stopping that. I need to invest in a lot more armor piercing in that case, which I really wasn't expecting. 62%, that's still not enough, mate. I'll take the extra merchant, though. And the extra public order. Which I might also... No, okay. Right, let us gather an army. Do I have a general? No. Calf first, serpent guard. Any other calf? Muhad and then serpent archers. Serpent bladesman. Or serpent bladesman. Nope. Then I'll take a shari. Should have more than a shari, right? Yeah. Okay, then I'll take Trollman, which is just this guy, I guess. Oh, it's so messy, let's just group them together. Um, yeah, I suppose so. Uh, Muha Tribesman. Nice, quite a few of them. Pikemen, I guess? Oh no, let's get the Trollman Hunter. Three Pikes. Then the Shadows. More Shadows. No, but I do have these Arches. And then the catapult. And let's maybe get rid of one pike. And swap it out for the blist. That's a pretty sweet army. I'm gonna send you towards Gondor because I'm gonna need reinforcements. <laughs> Didn't expect to need them, but hey, here we are. Alright, Long Gallon seems safe at least. So let's just get these guys, the ones that are worth a damn. Move them north. Because I'm gonna need help. <laughs> Oh, for these ruddy, bloody, shitty settlements. They're giving me so much grief. Incredible scenes. As you will, splitting the army. Campaign is hard. Gondor tough. Gondor is spamming like crazy, even on the brink of the feet. I'm surprised we were able to capture as many territories as we did. Honestly, the war against Dol Amroth and, like, the core of Gondor went surprisingly smooth looking back. <laughs> How much we're struggling with the fringe settlements, just... Knocks it out the water. They are getting a lot of money from Carandros and Gileaths, I suppose, but it's not just the money, it's also the infrastructure. Like, jeez. Perhaps I took a bit of a risk at Goons. I would have won the battle quite easily, but the timer, man. Okay, that's fine, if not for the lack of reinforcements. I will have another crack at Goon, it seems. Alright, they're throwing themselves away, that's good. But where do they keep coming from? Is that a settlement I'm forgetting about? A terrible sight. The enemy surrounds Ah, oh, the crap. They're fighting me with like that smallish army, but then the other ones are going to come in from behind. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to withdraw. And I hope that that will move me closer to the mountain ranges, or at least out of range and they won't attack me. I can't withdraw. Ah, oh, bloody hell. So this is no threat. Finglin got a lot of siege equipment, but besides that, it's a pretty shitty army, actually. A lot of horses as well, but... Uh, I only have, like, one half, not even, pike unit left. I do have a lot of horses myself. Gods, this is gonna suck. Alright, so Finglin's coming in from the left. I really wish I could withdraw. Oh, i got woods as well. And normally you'd say, oh, you could use that to your advantage, but you really can't. Not as a player. The AI doesn't care about its obstructed vision, but you definitely do. Alright, so there's a bit of an interesting landscape going on. So there's a nice hill here that I could abuse. They should be coming in from over here, this side. So I think this is the hill I want. That also gives me some coverage from the trees, which I really don't want, but, well, we're here. Okay. So much calf. I really am quite fussed about sending my infantry in the front line, but don't have much of a choice. I'll have to use my calf to kind of block their pursuit. brings more men to the battle. Okay. Pretty shitty force besides the Gondor infantry, but 
we will just hammer and angle them, not to worry. They got a lot of siege equipment that I would love to take out. See, I think I can win this battle, although it's not going to be easy, don't get me wrong. But it's... <coughs> apologies. Also going to be quite hard to finish off Goond with this... Whatever I got left afterwards. And then there's going to be reinforcements coming in from Derwa. So I might have to wait for some help. For some reinforcements coming in from Kirithraur. Irpan and his lads, I suppose. Catapult! Don't fire on them, please. Absolutely not. Waste your ammo on that. The risk of friendly fire is also quite stupidly high. See, I can't see anything with these bloody trees. So frustrating. The eye doesn't care. They, they don't see trees the way we do. Guys, 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 come on. Think it through. Uh. Alright. No. Well within our grasp. The bloody hell do you think oh, you're doing? See this and lose Catapult! Why are you moving? I never told you to move. Oh, I thought Seven Bladesman had shield wall. Oh, these guys don't charge at the very least. Alright, I need to pause. This is frustrating. <laughs> the frustrating part is uh, that my units are being completely stupid. It's making awful decisions. Just because you can doesn't mean you have to. Is what I want to yell at them. And also, I can't see anything with the bloody trees. It's super annoying. See, they don't have lands, so their charge is pretty wet blanket. I don't know why my ballista is doing that. Okay, so we catch them. But ballista, I need you to focus it. Cooperate with me. I'm begging you. I need to establish cab dominance. And I also don't need my general to die. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Can I tell you to fight it well without you being an idiot? I think I'm asking maybe too much. As soon as that trebuchet is in range... Oh, bloody hell. How do they outrange me when they're fighting uphill and I'm fighting downhill? God damn you, you ruddy... Oh, you are in range, actually. The game is just being stupid again. How is that ballista in range? Oh, these guys are there. I thought I told them to charge. Oh, I guess I didn't. Not these guys. Not the Gondor Calf. Oh, this fight. Why are you running so far ahead, you absolute moron? I deserve to lose this battle. My, my men deserve to lose this battle with how dumb they're being. Oh my lord, this is an absolute disgrace. You should feel ashamed. I'm wasting my cab as well. And they're pulling cab out of their butt. Oh lordy, Jesus Christ. I just... So many of them charging ahead. My ballista is being dumb, like they absolutely got themselves killed. I don't understand how the trebuchet is outranging me like that. I thought Secret Command had the same range, but it clearly does not. My right, Orcav needs to pull back, this is beyond stupid. I can't see anything with these bloody trees. Everyone's getting surrounded because I need to focus on 300 things at the same bloody time. I'm not having a good time, guys. I am straight up having a bad time. Alright, kill the captain's bodyguard, that's just... I really thought I could win this fight, but it's looking awful. It's just, I don't have any overview of my troops when, like, half of them are in the trees. That's 
try to disable their siege equipment. They don't even have that many troops. I'm just getting overwhelmed by the fact that I can't see. Very annoying. Oh, no, I don't want to charge Gondor Spearman head on. Should be able to beat them. Now I just need to like do some hammer and anvil and we got this, but it's incredibly difficult. They somehow destroy my catapult. Oh, keep fighting on the captain's bodyguard even if there is risk of friendly fire. Alright, destroy their siege equipment. Don't know what they're doing. Abandon their ballista for whatever reason. Pull back. And as soon as we've, you know, dealt with this stuff, we can charge and I'm actually going to tell my camels to already go. I need assistance. It's the best way of just being a pain in their ass. I'm going to have to do hammer and anvil anyway, so I'm going to move and then pull back. And then, you know, do that a couple times. Uh, I don't know how we're doing as well as we are. To be honest, I really thought the result would be much, 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 much worse by now. Okay. I'll keep that trebuchet from firing. Beautiful charge. Very good charge. Do that a couple more times. Sure, we've charged the militia. Everything else is too tough. And they pull out some calf. Uh, do I have any cavalry around here? No. Somebody even routing already. Morale is not the best. Catapult stopped fighting for whatever reason. Did we win? No. Then keep fighting, you fool. Uh, morale is so bad. They're not going to ride anytime soon, unfortunately. Morale is much better than mine. Yeah, yeah. Keep them occupied, I suppose. It's not like they got big pockets all over the place, they're just kind of all over the place. I also lost track of their general, unfortunately. That would help massively if I killed him. That's who I told my catapult to fire at, so they've also lost track of them, apparently. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay. We pray they lose their will to fight. That's not the message I wanted to receive. Oh, there's the captain's bodyguard. 19. Hmm. Victory That's is not well terrible. within our grasp. In time, our foe will surely see this and lose heart. But he's pulling back now. Which is unsettling. I can't see anything with these bloody trees, but. Oh no, another route. I can't see a damn thing. Get them off my catapult. I'm gonna lose this. Oh, it's not over yet, so I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I'll be honest with you. I don't know what to really think. Another route. Down it. Let's see if we can just charge the general head on. Honestly, it's the only way I see us winning this. We're gonna hit him. No, we're not. There we are. Oh, we hurt him. Did we hurt him enough? I don't think so. Go back, general. I think my camels are gonna rout. It should be terrible news. But as long as. I have my general, I can do charges. These guys are looking battered, but I don't know where that general is. I don't see him anymore. 
Oh, there he is. He got separated a bit. Okay, good charge. Yeah, we need to get that that general committed in melee. Oh, the bandits broke. Nice. And then punish him for it. That is my best bet. So if I can get my Hashari or my Seven Bladesman, anyone, to lock down their general, then we can try and get the killing blow. Ain't no way else we're gonna win this. But that general keeps running away, he's a little bitch. You have to charge him head on then. There's literally no alternative. Who dares wins, right? Oh, yeah. Win or lose, I'm not taking Gund after this. What a disgrace. What a disappointing episode, Izzy. You really let yourself go. Whatever happened to that great general? Oh, he never really showed up, but whatever happened to that mediocre general? Well, time to kill that general and hope, pray for a good route because of it. He's still alive. And he keeps moving, like, I keep locking him down with infantry and he's like, lol psych, moving out, as if it's nothing. He's down to a five and he's just buggering off, can we catch him please? No one tell this guy that he's not supposed to be running away constantly. He's supposed to die mate, come here. There we go, slash him, dash him, dice him. Getting poked! Can someone tell that ballista to cut it out? Oh, the morale, if that general is dead, the morale would just boom. It'd be over in a heartbeat. Is he dead? No. Wrong message again. Surely there's not much more he can take. He's the last one standing. He's not that legendary general, right? Unless I'm mistaken. The catapults start fighting again. God damn it. Come on. How much damage can this guy take? Is he dead? No, he's not dead yet. Oh my god, please. Please, someone tell this guy that he needs to go down. That's the captain, that's the wrong guy. That's not the general. He's still alive somewhere. Ah, like oh, yes. Walking finally, Fingling. Fingle this. The trebuchet is back. Oh my, they're just killing their own guys. I mean, I don't mind that. Alright, so we're gonna win this, even though I... Honestly, we don't deserve to win this. I played this horribly. I'll be the first to... Hate on myself. Wait, well, not that you guys ever hate. Hate's a big, big word. Criticize myself. I did not deserve this win. I somehow pulled it through. Because we killed the general, otherwise I think we might have still lost. But I also blame some of it on the stupidity of my own dreams. Just some of it, yeah. I'm not gonna take the full blame on myself, please. I'm Belgian. We don't do that. Wow. Victory is ours. What a terrible experience. I mean, to be fair, it was well a fun fight. Can't deny that. Otherwise. There is a certain sense of fun in this kind of... It's more fun than a battle that's just like a clear stomp, right? This took some... Perseverance. Well, maybe I still have enough juice to go after the goons. Man of the Hour is always welcome. So if we got... Kirith Rod, yeah, I know, but I can't even get reinforcements Order. there because you be bloody sir. lot are being sieged. Him. As you will. Can I, like, attack you and you'll bug it off? Probably won't. We will smile no, no, they won't. Yes, I don't want to fight master. you. I'm not yes. interested. I'm honored to serve. Could attack I'm Goldang and lure them out of the garrison. Coward. It's probably the best way to deal with them. Yeah, because they pulled some troops out of it, so the garrison's quite weak. Okay, so we can take good. Good. 
We'll hold at Tharagrondost. We're laying siege to Western Asgillith. We'll lay siege to Karandros. I think if I attack, they'll also get a massive set of defenders. Yep. Thanks, game. So we'll wait there. My ears are okay. I mean, Nazmorgul is still in our hands. But they've taken more. They've, oh my god, they've actually gone. Forest of Athelion, wait. Is that part of. Oh, that's part of Asgiliath. Okay. I thought they were all the way to Dagalad. Jeez Louise. Alright, so this was a rough episode, not gonna lie. But I also had a lot of fun with it. It's just Gondor is proving so hard to finish off. That's, I think, the main takeaway. They're not hard to kill, per se. You just can't ever finish them off, because whenever you think you're close to finishing them off, they just whip out another army, and you're like, okay, guess we're dealing with them first. And that gets really tiring. Like, I just want to finish them off. Uh, catapult. Joker. Barracks. All the nurse to upgrade market because I need to make some money. I'm wasting a lot of money on upkeep at this point. Umara's too. I'm out of money. See, that's exactly what I mean. So I'll just pop some troops in forts as well, you know. There we go. Um, extra ballista might as well. Yeah, I got all these troops. I need to like reorganize a bit. They're going after Thanos, it seems. Please don't do that. Don't embarrass yourself. Uh, right, that's gonna be all for today. Just gonna make sure that you're moving in the right direction. I'm gonna move you here because I don't trust the other name. Right, okay, that's gonna be all for today. So, next episode, we'll take Gund, we'll defend Taragrondost and push towards Balorn. I think we might take Kerandros and Osgiliath, although we probably won't spend 10 turns waiting them out. We'll see. Um, I'll just already set up this fight. Shouldn't be too hard. I don't believe the balance of power. I think we can take him down relatively easily. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I hope to catch you all soon for the next one.